racist Karens, are the absolute worst breed of attention seekers who believe their life is the only one that matters and their opinions are always right. Today, we're diving into a lineup of Karens and other misguided individuals who thought they could push their luck only to find out they picked the wrong targets. Get ready for a dose of justice served hot. Number one, white neighbor hauled by the protesters. There are moments when society unites to protect the rights of a victim from individuals like a racist Karen, and this case is a perfect example of such unity. The anger and outrage stemmed from an explosive interaction caught on video between neighbors. The white neighbor repeatedly hurled racial slurs at a calm black person, harassing them. However, the racist individual did not escape consequences. The viral video prompted protesters to confront him and demand an apology to the innocent victim. Subsequently, the racist man faced multiple charges for his actions. Number two, man calling cops on a nine-year-old kid. There's a little, a little black woman. Former New Jersey councilman Gordon Lorshi faced severe backlash after acting like a racist Karen and calling the police on nine-year-old Bobby, who was simply walking around their neighborhood in Caldwell, killing spotted lanternflies. Lorshi made the call to the non-emergency line, describing seeing a little black woman walking and spraying stuff on the sidewalks and trees and expressing fear. When an officer arrived, they discovered that the person in question was not an adult woman, but a young girl doing her part to combat the invasive species. Number three, suspected the wrong man. An absurd case of a police officer happened when the cops got a report about a shoplifter. The suspect was described to them, but instead of finding the white suspect, two responding officers started investigating a black man. Despite being directed over their radio that the suspect was on the other side of the store, the officers continued to harass the wrong person. The police department reviewed the body cam footage and the officers faced consequences for their actions. Number four, cops punished for racism. Two racist cops faced backlash for their discriminatory behavior towards Aramis Ayala, the first black woman to hold the position of Florida State Attorney. Thank you. Your tag didn't come back. Never seen that before. I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Okay. Yeah, we're good now. The incident, captured on their body cams, allegedly involved pulling her over as a suspicious person solely because of her skin color. Who was the tag one for? I'm sorry? Their actions backfired when they targeted the wrong black woman, resulting in immediate repercussions from the police department. Number five, swift backlash from the customer. This racist Karen woman decided it was acceptable to make racial slurs at a Muslim customer, even spitting on them, and then tried to play the victim when the police arrived. Hear anything like that? No, here. No, no, that's okay. Stand up for me, please. No. I'll just make sure you're on the like, like, look, I don't even have I don't pockets. know. Turn around. I don't want to. She was caught on video acting arrogantly as the officers approached, perhaps assuming they would support her. Instead, they promptly arrested her. Listen, he verbally abused me. Well, that doesn't give you the right to spit on him. That's what you verbally abused me as soon as I got here. I spit on you. During her arrest, she continued her Karen act, offering baseless excuses to the police. However, the officers refused to tolerate her behavior and dealt with her accordingly. Number six, racist woman harassing a bakery worker. This racist Karen thought she could skip the rule about wearing a mask inside the bakery. When the worker denied her service, her ego took a hit. She then hurled a racist insult at Victor Kamara, a black bakery employee. Unbeknownst to her, a bystander caught everything on camera. She was seen repeatedly calling him racist slurs and insults, even though he was just following the bakery and COVID rules. The woman quickly faced the music with charges pressed against her for harassment and other offenses. Number seven, racist cop arresting woman. The Volusia County Sheriff's Office in Florida recently released body cam footage showing the arrest of an 18-year-old woman mistakenly identified as a suspect. The incident unfolded 
when a racist officer responded to a burglary call and erroneously targeted a black woman exiting her car in her driveway, assuming she and her partner were the suspects. The encounter escalated as the woman reacted aggressively towards the officer, resulting in her arrest. This situation reflects fault on both sides, with the officer's wrongful assumption and the woman's reaction both playing roles. Her behavior, often labeled as Karen-like, contributed to the escalation and her subsequent arrest by the biased officer. What are your thoughts on who was in the wrong here? Number eight, woman arrested for bullying. A shocking video of a hate crime went viral online, showing a Texas woman openly harassing a group of Indian American women. In the video, the woman yells racial slurs and physically attacks them multiple times. Her blatant display of hate towards these women led to her arrest. The police stood with the victims, pressing several charges against the woman for her actions. Please, I'm, I'm yes, please. Yes. Yes. Life is so Number nine, woman called cops on a farmer in another case of racist Karens being Karens. Three white women called the cops on an innocent black urban farmer. These ladies seriously need a reality check. The farmer was just working on his farm when the women falsely reported that he had a gun and was part of a gang, all because he painted his trees in the colors of the African flag. Number 10. Racist manager sued for her actions. This black woman was just trying to draw some checks from a bank when she ended up suing them. The security footage shows Janetta entering the bank and sitting down to unlock her card. Out of nowhere, the branch manager comes over, misbehaves with her, and tells her to leave. The manager, acting like a true Karen, calls Janetta rude and then calls the cops on her. Even the cops were baffled. Once they assessed the situation, it was clear Janetta did nothing wrong. She sued the bank manager for racial discrimination, giving a much-needed lesson. Number 11. Bank manager caught for the mistake. This case taught all banks a big lesson about racial discrimination. Almond Brewer, a black man, tried to deposit a 32,000 check at his bank. While he was waiting, the manager called the cops on him. After questioning, it turned out the check was valid and from his trade income. Almond reported the incident, sparking public outrage. Although the bank refused to talk to the police, they released a statement saying they were suspicious of Almond's activities. Their racial behavior led to the loss of many customers. Number 12. Cops getting a reality check. A disabled black man was attacked and arrested by these racist cops who didn't even let this man to even move. The old man was seen to be standing outside his house minding his own business when his racist Karen neighbor called the cops on him and reported the man to be possessing a gun. The cops tackled the man to the ground and were seen brutally abusing him. The old man kept asking for help and finally, these racists got to face the consequences of their actions. Another fellow cop came to check on them and assess the situation and found that the old man was indeed innocent and was called on by a racist person. The fellow cop made sure these racist cops were faced with harsh consequences for their actions. Number 13. Women arrested for rude behavior. A viral video capturing Karen's epic meltdown at a Galveston bank has everyone talking. The body cam footage shows a police officer responding to staff reports of an elderly woman causing a scene. The officer calmly asks her to comply with the bank's mask policy, but she adamantly refuses. My money is in this bank, and I'm going to take it out. Well, then you have to abide and by the rules, that, and you have to have a mask on. Unleashing a classic tirade. However, her stubbornness quickly backfires as the situation escalates, leading to her arrest by the officer. Her childish antics and refusal to follow rules only made her situation worse, culminating in a moment where she ended up making a spectacle of herself. Number 14. A feud in a Mexican restaurant. 
a customer at a Mexican restaurant in Anaheim, California, was caught on camera ranting about a sign in Spanish and then threatening to call immigration on the employees. The sign said the deal was good on Vienne, the Spanish word for Friday. But Friday was also clearly written in English inside the restaurant. When the cashier pointed this out, the customer got even more aggressive. Imagine being that old and still acting like a five-year-old. So embarrassing. Number 15. Racist cop getting fired. A teenager who was attacked by an officer at the Warren Jail is now pursuing legal action against the city, seeking tens of millions of dollars in damages. Security footage captured the disturbing incident, showing a racist cop assaulting a black man inside the office. Other officers quickly intervened to stop the assault and separate the cop from the victim. The officer responsible was subsequently sued by the victim and terminated from his job. While cops may fail, karma never fails to deliver justice. Number 16. The Real Boss. Are cops acting like Karens? It's sadly all too common in the US in this video. This is what I'm citing you for, all right? The music for stop with the brake light out. We see cops misusing their authority and acting all high and mighty on someone's property. They were trying to mess with a Hispanic woman, but their power trip didn't last long. The property owner showed up and put them in their place, showing these Karen cops who the real boss is. Off our property right now. Get off. This is private property. Realizing they were outmatched, the cops quietly left tails between their legs. Don't come on here again. In fact, don't ever come on the Indian Collective property unannounced again. Number 17. The unmasked woman returns. The police were called to a store where an elderly woman was causing a disturbance. Upon arrival, one of the officers recognized the woman as the same individual who had refused to wear a mask in a bank in a previous video. Police, you're going to go to jail for trespassing. You can't. You want to read this? These are my I'm life. not going to ask These you These are again. my federal rights. Grab your stuff. Let's go. This Karen behaved arrogantly, insisting on her own interpretation of rules as if she were a law enforcer. However, the officer asserted authority by arresting her and escorting her away. Number 18. Undercover Cop. In this video, a black undercover cop caught a young white woman red-handed while she was attempting to shoplift from a store. The cop is seen struggling to restrain the woman without letting go of her bag filled with stolen goods, all while being attacked by Karen. Oh, you gonna start kicking? Yes! You gonna start kicking after shoplifting? She even accused the man of attacking her in the parking lot and continued to hurl insults at him. The store workers had finally had enough of her behavior and she was reported to the authorities. As a result, she not only faced charges, but also received backlash on the internet for her outrageous actions. Number 20, commotion in Walmart. Drop the knife now! This deputy arrested a 33-year-old Karen Brandy McGowan for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon believed to be a knife. Despite repeated instructions from Deputy Witter to drop the weapon, she ignored these commands and continued to make incoherent statements. After arguing for a long while, the deputy had no option but to deploy his taser to disarm the lady. Number 21. Anti-Indian Rants A dispute in Edmonton involving Angelique Barfield has sparked controversy and legal action. It started with a parking disagreement with Raul Kumar, but things escalated when Barfield was confronted about parking in an emergency lane. Kumar recorded Barfield's angry response where she used racial insults and mocked his accent. Really? Oh, do you want to boost your vehicle so that you can try to block me in? And Barfield defended herself by citing past incidents where she felt harassed by Kumar, but her racist remarks caught on camera led to widespread criticism. She faces charges for causing a disturbance and mischief, yet she hasn't shown remorse and criticized media coverage, denying accusations of racism, getting exactly what she deserved. A Karen woman approaches a group of young boys in her neighborhood and starts giving them lectures about their car and their house. Not just stopping with her rant, she even calls the cops on these guys 
Okay, so what's what's the problem? The problem is, is that if I want to sell my house, I can't sell it because of you guys. But this backfires her. The whole incident turns into a funny scene when the cops arrive and investigate the scene. Look at that, that bright neon sign. Every time we pass by, you know, we just get blinded by it. Do you see it? And instead of arresting the boys, they arrest Karen for violation of codes and harassment. Number 24. Quick justice. This racist Karen got exactly what she deserved. She was walking by and started calling him the N-word. She was just getting started with her arguing when the man walked up to her and sprayed her with water. Completely drenched, right then and there. Number 25. Violators of justice. These cops had come to the store to investigate shoplifting. So like true racists, they went for the two black men as the suspects. But things get way wilder than this. A man who had seen the actual shoplifters came by and informed the cops that these were not the people who had stolen. The men both decide, since they are in the clear, they can leave now. But the racist cops don't think so. They walk out, trying to stop them. The victims refuse to stay because they have done nothing, and a witness can attest to that. Sadly, these racists don't care about justice. They tase the two men and arrest them for no reason at all. Their excuse? Well, the cops conveniently thought the victims here had guns on them. What a shame to their uniforms. Number 26. Falsely accusing black women. A video circulating on the internet shows a woman hastily walking through an airport. She abruptly turns back and starts shouting at two black female police officers. Stole my headphones if you don't stop her. I am going to call the police. Pulling out her phone, she begins taking photographs and recording videos of them, accusing them of threatening her. The altercation escalates as the elderly white woman continues to confront and even attempts to physically attack the officers, who remain calm throughout, trying to resolve the situation. Number 27. When the tip is not enough. A delivery driver decided to take back the food she brought to someone's home after getting a tip she wasn't happy with for her 40-minute drive. She started by pleading with the customer, saying, you need to try to drive it. I just drove it. It's 40 minutes. It's, it's 12 and a half miles. I don't think you realize the distance that it comes from, insisting she deserved a bigger tip. Things got heated, and the whole confrontation was caught on the homeowner's doorbell cam. To make it right. How much is the tip? You gave an $8 tip. What the hell are you looking for? In a fit of rage, the driver snatched the food back and declared she was taking it with her. Number 28. The woman who tried to hit two black men. Carla Barron, a woman from Toledo, Oregon, allegedly attempted to scare and hit two African-American males with her car in a parking lot. She reportedly yelled racially charged language at them, expressing frustration. And then he starts coming towards me. Okay. So I start my car up and go towards him. He runs. Police responded and Barron was arrested and charged with ethnic intimidation and aggravated menacing, both felonies. Number 29, showdown with Chicago police. A viral video had been making waves online, showing a heated showdown between a woman and a Chicago police officer at North Avenue Beach. According to her attorney, she was enjoying a late night stroll with her dog when approached by the officer. Despite informing him she was leaving, things took a wild turn. The footage captures a tense tug of war over a cell phone, described by her attorney as an unexpected assault. Eventually, the woman was let go. Number 30. Woman causing trouble at the airport. Police arrived at the gate of this airport to find the woman yelling and arguing with an airline supervisor. Despite the airline refunding her ticket and revoking her flying privileges, she chose to act in a disruptive manner instead of apologizing for delaying the plane. I wanted to say, and they, they okay. took hey, me we'll off talk. the plane, okay. but I walked sure. off. When asked to leave the airport, the woman refused to cooperate and forcefully snatched her ID card away from an officer who was holding it. Then when the cops tried arresting her, 
she resisted peacefully putting her hands behind her back. Number 32. Two Karens. Getting their schedule disturbed, body camera footage from an officer at the Albuquerque Police Department captured two individuals who decided to wander into a crime scene, behaving like typical Karens. So if you have any issues, you can take it up with officer, what is your name? Sanchez. Sanchez. The footage shows the officer interacting with these women. Despite clear instructions from the officer, they stubbornly resisted leaving the crime scene. Eventually realizing they had no authority in the situation, they reluctantly departed. Number 34. Woman harassing. A 12-year-old kid. A Santa Ana woman exhibited classic extremist behavior when she harassed a 12-year-old boy riding his bike along a roadside. The incident was captured on a camera strapped to the boy's chest as she lunged at him and attacked him. Not stopping there, she proceeded to the boy's home and complained to his parents. As a result, the family pressed charges against her, using the footage from the chest-mounted camera as evidence, and justice was served. Racism and Karens often go hand in hand, as can be seen in these videos. Which one of these Karens did you hate the most? Let us know in the comments down below. We would love to hear your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with more of our updates. We will see you in the next one. Goodbye.